what is before? We're going to El Paso, right? You're not American. <clears throat> what do you work for now? Well, I go where I'm sent. What's going on, guys? Kelly here in Miami with Benicio del Toro and Maximiliano Hernandez to talk about Sicario. How's it going? And welcome to Miami. Thank you. Doing Great. well, thanks. I know it's a little overcast, but... It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. So tell me about your characters and how they relate to each other. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, well, my character is a, it's a former Mexican prosecutor who's had a... Uh, really dark episode in his life where some drug lord just destroyed his family and now he's working on a semi-covert operation to um, to get to this, the, the drug lord. Nothing will make sense to your American ears. But in the end, you will understand. Spotter vehicle, left lane. Spotter vehicle, 9 o'clock. Hit his weapon out. Emiliano plays uh, a, a state cop who's caught in the in that world. So you kind of get in his way. I didn't get caught. You know, I didn't get yeah, caught yeah. up in his way. Right. I got you know, I got wrapped up in not only in me, the but whole, like by mistake. Whole thing. Yeah, in the yeah. Whole, innocent yeah. bystander trying yeah. to make some money for your family. Just right? trying to just survive. trying to survive. I'm not a soldier. This oh. is not what I do. What is this? What happens when they dig in? This is it. Gotta be careful on these people. CIA is not supposed to work this side of the fence. I just want to know what I'm getting into. They will not survive here. When you were shooting, when, when just being in the moment of shooting that, like, did you, did, what was the research that went into it? The research is like, you know, you go and you can find that world and how violent has gotten, you know, in, 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 on both sides of the border, not only in Mexico, but we actually shot in Mexico City and, you know, it was, uh, we had a great time. Uh, we had, uh, we didn't have any problems there at all. I didn't see anything or anything like that, you know, but, uh, but it does happen. Mexico is big. Yeah. So let's not say yeah, it's no, all it's of huge. Mexico. Right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's these problems, these, and they're bad, violent problems that are just, They've gotten to a point that it becomes no longer is a problem of just governments. It's a problem of people, and not just the Mexican people. And um, so, uh, this is a, this is a movie that uh, that brings that subject again, and I think is good to rehash this problem. The war on drugs is just, you know, it's just out gotten out of hand. You use me as bait. Freeze! You saw things you shouldn't have seen. You were in that conversation. Providing a measure of order that we could control. And your character, like, we don't really get the backstory and how you become so cold, so you have no problem whatsoever just pulling the trigger. Are we gonna find out a little bit more? Because we did hear that maybe you and me both I, I just I just heard about it I, I, I don't know if there's a there's a sequel I, I haven't read anything there's there was never talk about that you know it, 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 the character was designed like that you know just designed to be like this kind of mysterious character that we get to know about his past and about who he is almost at the same time you know and kind of make us understand them but at the sa same time we're repulsed by his actions, you know? I mean, so it's kind of, it's very complex. It's a very compelling character that I think any actor would love to try to do, you know? I'm gonna tell everyone what you did. 